πολιτικό σεισμό, κύριε και κύριοι, προκαλεί στην Κύπρο μεγάλο σκάνδαλο. After an undercover investigation by Al Jazeera. Οι εξελίξει, κυρίε και κύριοι, από το πρωί είναι ραγδαίε. Ξέρετε, η θέμελα το πολιτικό σύστημα. Η ζημιά στην εικόνα τη χώρα είναι τεράστια. Η Κύπρο διασύρεται διεθνώ. Μετά το ρεζίλεμα τη Κύπρου, ξεσηκώθηκε η κοινωνία. Δεν είναι αυτή η Κύπρο. Έχουν καταδικαστεί τουλάχιστον Μάλιστα. στο ηθικό κομμάτι στα μάτια τη κοινή γνώμη. Διασυρά το όνομα τη Κύπρου. Κύπρο, χρυσά διαβατήρια τέλο. Να απαλλαγούμε από τον δαίμονα τη διαφθορά, γράφει η εφημερίδα. Το Αλτζαζίρα φέρνει στο φω τα Cyprus Papers. Τα Σάπια. Για μίλα στο καλάθι πρέπει να φύγουν, δεν έχουν θέση. Μην μου αναφέρετε αξιαζίρα για να μην σα πάρει ο δαίμονα. Το Δύση Cyprus κάνει τον γύρο του κόσμου από τον BBC μέχρι το Reuters. Είναι αυτή η Κύπρο, Δύση Cyprus, την οποία επιμένουν και επιμένουν να την ξαναφέρουν μέσα στο κόσμο. Εγώ δεν δέχομαι ότι είναι αυτή. Όχι, δεν είναι αυτή η Κύπρο. Εγώ θα σα πω ταπεινά τι έκανα. Μετά από τρει και πλέον μήνε, εμφανίστηκε ξανά στο προσκήνιο. Μόνο ένα εκ των τεσσάρων απάντησε στι κατηγορίε. Του δίνει εν λευκό τη δυνατότητα έρευνα των περιουσιακών του στοιχείων τόσο του ίδιου, τόσο τη συζύγου αλλά και τη εταιρεία του. Αντιθέτω, στον δικό του δρόμο τραβά ο Ανδρέα Πιτάτζη. Δεν επιδιώκω αθώο ή αλλά δικαίωση. Θέλω να γνωρίζω εάν οι ενχορδέ και οργάνη καταχώρηση τη παρούσα υπόθεση έγινε εν συνείδηση δικαίου ή προστέρψη κολοσσέου. Εδώ σα τη δημοσιότητα δικέ του ηχογραφήσει, οι οποίε παρουσιάζουν μια διαφορετική εκδοχή. Πριν από λίγο, ο δικηγόρο Ανδρέα Πιτάκη σε γραπτή του δήλωση ανέφερε ότι από την πρώτη στιγμή πέρσι τον Οκτώβριο του 2019 διαπίστωσε ότι τα πρόσωπα που επισκέφτηκαν το γραφείο του επιθυμούσαν τρόπου παράκαμψη των κανόνων διενέργεια παράνομων δραστηριοτήτων. Η ΜΟΚΑ επιθυμεί να διευκρινίσει σε σχέση με την επιστολή από το δικηγορικό γραφείο ο Γιώργου Πιτάκη ημερομηνία 29 Οκτωβρίου 2019. Ότι το περιεχόμενο τη ήταν τέτοιο που όχι μόνο δεν αποκάλυπτε οποιαδήποτε χρηματοοικονομική συναλλαγή, αλλά ούτε υπήρχε αντικείμενο που η μονάδα έχει αρμοδιότητα εκ του νόμου. 29 του Οκτώβρη το 2019, όχι μετά που ήμασταν για την Θα μου επιτρέψετε απλώ να πω ότι απευθύνονται σε αφήνει. Η δικαιολογία είναι χειρότερη από την αρχική πράξη. Έχετε θυμή να αφήνει η Μοκά στον δικηγόρο Ανδρέα Πιτάτζη αναφορικά με την επιστολή που απέστειλε. Το περιεχόμενο τη επιστολή ήταν τέτοιο. Το πρωί οι ανακριτέ έκαναν έφοδο σε Μοκά, Υπουργείο Εσωτερικών και Εφοροεταιριών. Αποκάλυψε παράλληλα πω η Μοκά δεν τον ενημέρωσε για την καταγγελία Πιτάτζη. Δεν ενημερώθηκε ο Γενικό Εισαγγελέα, εγώ δηλαδή. Θα σε έχουν δοθεί οδηγίε να προσπαθείτε να ψαρέψετε. Ξέρω εγώ έναν ανέκδοτο με το κόμπο να θέλετε να δω. Η νομική υπηρεσία αποφάσισε να μην παρουσιάσει ως μέρος του μαρτυρικού υλικού το επίμαχο βίντεο, το οποίο όμως είναι το α και το ω. Andreas Pitaji said he understood from the outset that what was proposed involved money laundering and criminal activities, and that everything he did thereafter amounted to fishing for more details. He also indicated that a few days after our journalists had left Cyprus without providing him a copy of Mr. X's passport, he made a report to Cyprus's anti-money laundering unit. Από αυτό το πρόγραμμα έχουν εποφεληθεί μέλη της οικογένειάς σας ή εταιρείες των οικογένειών σας; Όχι, κύριε. How about the, the, the fee, for example, like uh, for this kind of case, like uh, to solve the problem, <coughs> get, a, get a, the passport, because he, we know that uh, there's, uh, there's uh, the record, the criminal record, record issue. Listen, uh, mean the... first of all, in order for me to be able, uh, again, honesty is the best policy. Mm -hmm. uh, If he cannot do it, he, he will not do, he will not be able to do it. So I cannot move mountains or perform miracles. Uh, after we get all the documents, I will check and I will tell you. Okay. The, what about the, the about time in the any problems. If we start with Giovanni has a solution already, because you mentioned also Giovanni. And Tony told me that you have, you have met him as well. Yeah. If he has a solution, then he has a solution. Uh, but we have to 
get everything, review everything, and I will tell you. Honestly and truthfully. Maybe one of the solutions is the one that you have already proposed about his spouse, his wife. So, Andrew, because you know the, 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 this client, because of the, 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 the situation uh, in China, he, and those are the, now the, the, the deteriorating situation in Hong Kong, he's uh, very eager to get the EU passport. And also, he, you know, he's, a, as I said, he, he's a very successful super businessman. So he knew that, that everything was like indiscreet. I know, I totally trust you could be, uh, would be very professional in, in uh, protecting his identity. The, the, the only thing is like he told me a few times when I was in Hong Kong before I came here and also when I talked with him yesterday, he told me that he needed like very uh, positive uh, assurance from uh, you guys' side, your side, that his case is, could be handled before we give he and his family's uh, information, passport details to, to you. Otherwise, he would feel that uh, it may, you know, be, 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 um, be how to say, like, for risky. For a simple detail, mm -hmm. things might change. Mm -hmm. For a simple detail. It's like asking a doctor. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who has cancer. Can you cure him? He would say, bring me his lab tests, his results, and I will tell you. Uh, I cannot give you the lab tests. You have to first tell me whether I can, you can cure him, and then I will give you his lab tests. In the same way, I am a managing partner at the law firm with half a century of history behind started by my father, one of the oldest law firms in Cyprus. The oldest? One of the oldest the law firms in Cyprus. Yeah. We have most, the most cases won in the Court of Appeal of Cyprus than any other law firm in Cyprus. Yeah. So, I am not at the temple of getting a client offer assurances and guarantees yeah. without checking it. Because then I would be a charlatan, I would be an imposter, I would be a liar. Um, yeah, Tony yeah. has told us amazing stuff about your work. Yeah. I, I don't trust him completely about the stuff he said. But Giovanni, <laughs> no, 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 no. Giovanni was a said great thing about you. Giovanni said, Mr. Giovanni. You're the person to talk to. I, ca I cannot, I cannot sure. say to you or assure you that uh, I will get him a passport or I will. Uh, be able to bring his money to Cyprus unless he check. What might help for us to go back to him and to assure our client is... What you can assure yeah. him is the following things. Mm -hmm. First of all, this law firm never lies to his clients. Mm -hmm. Secondly, this law firm will work 20 hours every day, all lawyers here. Thirdly, whatever happens in this law firm stays in this law firm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, because it being discreet in this town, in this country, is more important than being discreet in London. Because if you go into a law firm in London and you disclose his name, nobody would care. Because if you go to find your friend and tell him, nobody would find out. But in Cyprus, in a small, very tiny island that everybody knows each other, if one name slips out of my office, my whole reputation is ruined. So confidentiality to us is of paramount importance, much more than any other country of the world, because we are a closed society, because we are a small island, because everybody knows each other. That's why we are very discreet. The main problem I have in my office is people asking to see me at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock at night for appointments, because they don't want somebody seeing them coming to my office. Uh,
because if they see them come to my office, they may think that they came for that case or the other case. So being discreet for us is more important than anything that you can imagine. So I understand. I think one thing that could help us to reassure the client is if we tell you, maybe give you some details of the case and you say, have you dealt with something similar? I have dealt with everything that you can ever imagine. Okay. Even similar cases like uh, my client? I have dealt with 50 years mm. of history as a law firm. Mm. We have, we have handled anything that you can ever, ever imagine. So you like my client's case with yes, this little yeah. over circle about the criminal record? He was with uh, money laundering uh, criminal record. Who's right. that? Who's we that? have to certain, first of all, if we are to have a client who has money laundering and criminal convictions, no, we cannot pass him. If we have a client who has a criminal conviction, but that criminal conviction is not linked to the money. This is this is this is law. Uh, these are international regulations. These are not Cyprus regulations. I, I had a client who was convicted in relation to a criminal offence. He could make the investment in Cyprus because the origin of the money was clear. I had another client who wanted to make an investment from a company that has been convicted of bribery, and the funds were coming from the same company. I said to him, I cannot do it. I had a client who wanted to do an investment and couldn't, but his wife could. I had a client who wanted to make an investment, but, his, but he couldn't. His son could. You cannot make problems disappear. You can solve them, if there is a solution. But in order for me to provide for a solution, I have to review everything. What I want to clearly say to you, clearly and honestly, I cannot make black look white or the other way around. I cannot do money laundering. I cannot do that. No, it's, it's yes, not. Yes, I, I cannot do that. If you say to me that this guy has a gazillion euros in cash and he needs to pay that without gazillion euros, please make them look pretty. You cannot make black to white or the other way around. But you can offer solutions if there are. And most of the time there are solutions. The vast majority of times there are solutions. So maybe if one company was involved, we can this maybe use the funds from a different... Yes, it, because not all companies are criminals. We have to review everything though in order to offer a solution. Obviously this is not an easy case. If it was an easy case, he would have already bought the English club. Yes. So you are in Cyprus knowing that you have a problem. Yes. And that problem, uh, it, it would be unwise and unprofessional if you came in Cyprus and you found the lawyer and said, oh, don't worry, I will assure him that we will do it. Pay me this XZ amount of money and I will make all your problems disappear. No, this is not prudent, this is not wise, and this is not professional. I'm willing to review everything and offer solutions, if any. But offer, in advance, a guarantee? No. And if he's a smart businessman, and he accepts that insurance, it means that he's a bad business. He asked me the, uh, the, the same question. He would like to have the kind of confidence from our friends in Cyprus, especially from you, that uh, according to his situation, he could, his family could have the, uh, at least high chance, if he's not 100%, to... Um, in relation to his family, I would say yes, he has high chances. High chances. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, um, you also have for his himself, parents. I don't know, but for yeah. his family, I will say... Including himself. That I cannot answer. Because, you know, the, the, the two reasons. I First is for the plan. business. Secondly is for the, the, his own uh, safety. Because of the situation in, 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 in Hong Kong. Yeah, it could be changed quickly. 
So, um, he would definitely uh, do all the application process, also while the money, once this is kind of confirmed. How easy? So sorry. How easy mm. it's for me mm. to now tell you. Mm. I guarantee you. Mm. I understand. Is it difficult for me to say that? Mm. Okay, it's easy. Uh, please pay me ten thousand euros in advance to start the checks. I can resolve the issue. Is it difficult for me to say it? Mm. You want me to say it? Mm. No, I will. No. I want you just to uh, tell the truth. Also, how about the, the experience? Like uh, experience shows that when there, that in most of the situations, when there is a problem, there is a solution. Sometimes the solution is different from what originally somebody anticipated, but usually there is a solution. But unless I see the patient, I cannot know the cure. I understand you travel to Cyprus, and I am, uh, I am not trying to sell here. I am not, I'm not a used car salesman. I am a professional, and I am at this moment, at, at this exact moment when you are sitting here, I'm not just a professional. I am also an ambassador of my country. I am an ambassador of Cyprus, and. These people that have the financial ability to invest in Cyprus have the financial ability to invest anywhere in the world. And they have chosen from the globe a country the name of which they might not even know. A small tiny island in the Mediterranean that very few, few people know in the world. So it is my obligation to treat these people and treat you with respect and honesty and try to offer you a better service than from the service that I would offer a local. Because exactly these people chose from the globe this country. So I have to match the service, professionalism and honesty with any other country of the world. Because subsequently, if I lie, if I cheat, he will not say a lawyer in Cyprus pardon me, I have never cheated. A Cypriot Chile. So that's why I said I am an ambassador of my country. And that's why I cannot lie just to earn your confidence, just to earn your trust. It's easy. Anybody can do it. I can. I appreciate it. Because, you know, for Hong Kong, if you nowadays, if you immigrate there, the Chinese, now the investment plan, immigration has stopped. But there's some other ways, like family re reunion or something. Before it's the issue of the passport, they put all the data, names, date of birth, everything, and the newspaper by the immigration department. So everyone can have the access to that. <coughs> yeah. So here, definitely not. Mm. Why do you very black and white? It depends that the time is ready to hear truths. Mm. For example, one truth might be, mm. that I, as I told you earlier, that I use only one case, mm. you would mm. never ever get a password. Mm. You want for your family to get it? By all means. But not for you. Mm. So, whatever the truth is, mm. you you must be prepared to listen. Because before saying anything, I would relay everything with you, we will discuss it, and maybe you tell him I would. Because obviously he trusts you more, you know, for many, many years, and even my performance in Cyprus reflects on your services as well, because you will say, I met this professional woman in Lucas. So whatever mistake I make, mm. it reflects to you and you are busy. Both ways. Yeah. Both ways when I am, I will get the least damage. Yeah.
and uh, um, at the same time, we would like to um, stop the process very soon. And also, uh, we have given him the website you give us, so he would uh, uh, ask his staff assistant to to check two websites, right? You give to us from his side, so then we can know if it's shown there or not shown there. So we can have two plans. But if it's some that has uh, his list there on either of the website or both websites. You think we can still go ahead with some solution, right? I would repeat what I told you yesterday exactly. Yeah. In Cyprus, yeah. as in all European countries, yeah. you cannot do manual yeah. labor. You cannot bypass yeah. the system. Yeah. You have to dance to the rhythms of the music yeah. and regulations. So, if there are strong mm. reasons why it does not proceed, mm. then we will have to think <laughs> alternatives. Mm. Only the yesterday, mm. I think his yeah. wife can satisfy the regulations with mm. his wife. Mm. I don't know. Or maybe, I don't need even, even if his name is listed, mm. it does not mean that automatically he will be rejected. Mm. We have to assess the case mm. and decide. So let's say that he logs into the web and this is his name. That is not a reason to panic and say, oh, I cannot do that. Those databases are not databases that instruct professionals, banks and governments around the world to not do business with these guys. <laughs> These websites give indications to professionals, banks and governments to be careful when dealing with such professionals, with such people. There are times that, although the name is listed, you see, they have cases where they got the passport and they made transactions, but they had strong accusations there uh, in those websites. But after producing all the evidence, the authorities were satisfied. Others cannot proceed. Uh, only an independent professional working in Europe can clearly say yes you can proceed or no you can't proceed after assessing everything. Yeah. Not just the name. What is called those websites are called screening. <coughs> screening. It's just a screening. You are making a screening. It's nothing else. It's a first glance of a person. Look at the essence of the case. First glance. It's like seeing a woman for the first time. Yeah. She looks up or happy. And <laughs> you are not very attracted. Mm. But you say it's not that ugly. Mm. I will get to know. Uh, we get to know them and we love them. Yeah. Some women you see here, like we are calling here, mm. and you fell in love from, from, from the first second. It's very persistent. <laughs> <laughs> so you fell in love with the first second. Yeah. There are other women, that, or men, that they are so ugly that you cannot touch them. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to come into this conversation now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same with the YC. It might be an average. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we can bypass the problem. Mm -hmm. It might be so ugly mm -hmm. that we need to find alternatives. Mm -hmm. So for the KYC, what comes before the name? All that is before. Yes, yes, yes. We have to make the investment, get the passport, and then the name. After the passport, after, after he, he passes successfully from the whole process, after the stamp, we we'll get the official decision from the government that yes, we like you to be one of us. <coughs> but it can change the name. It's time to do. Bear in mind that what I'm saying, there is nothing illegal. Nobody is willing to jeopardize going to prison in, in the Western world.
So nobody will jeopardize going to put in the Western world for any amount, especially a long-standing profession. Andreas, correct me if I'm wrong. I have expensive belief. By our experience, we know from the fact about the KYC and the passport application, the PR application, more or less the necessary documents, okay? Mm -hmm. What documents needed. Each occasion for sure is independently we are going to see, but more or less... I have already shown them. Yeah, yeah. It's two sets of separate documents. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One set is for KYC, one set is for the passport application, some are... Com yes. yes. In case, for example, any future potential client will be aware about these documents in advance, can they prepare this pack of documents before even coming for the investment or not? No. no. KYC, yes. KYC, yes. KYC, it's preferable before, before we touch anybody. Yeah? Uh -huh. To know that we have an investment. Yeah. Uh, for the passport, one of the criteria of the passport documents is the full criminal record. That should be 90 days old, two months old. Shouldn't be longer than that. So if he gets the passport documents and he gets the full criminal record and there is a delay, it's not nice to say to a client, go and do it again. But to collect some of the documents, yes. Or in at least so the client will be prepared and know that you know that you have to pass this procedure. So we are going to take in advance any reaction from that side. You're so asking us a lot of questions. Let, 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 let's, let's be simple and yeah. let's be practical. Yeah. In order to make a passport application, yeah. you need to make an investment. Yeah. So the most important part in the passport application are not the passport documents, yeah. the investment. If somebody cannot make an investment, he cannot make a passport. If he can make the investment, it means that by 99% chances, he can get the documents, the passport required documents. So what I say is, instead of wasting our time, get the Schengen visa, uh, get, uh, get me a um, um, passport pictures, instead of wasting time, if not procedural things, let's waste our time on the investment. Get me the KYC. So when he comes to Cyprus, everybody knows, okay, we have a solid businessman. We can do the investment. Most of the times what happens, and I am pissed as hell, yeah. is that they come in Cyprus. They, as I told you yesterday, they spend thousands and thousands to travel here. Uh, they spend this guy's days and days to show them properties, make negotiations, choose the extras, what type of air condition, what type of food they are going to make, what type of uh, tiling. And when they finish, they spend 10 days in Cyprus, and on the 10th day, they come to my office. And I tell them, you have this required documents. Sorry, we cannot get them. It means that everyone's time is wasted. Everyone's time. Or they go back and they spend months and months trying to get those documents because they they are lazy or they don't care. And at the end of the day, everybody is expecting to get paid their commission, their fees, the developers are expecting to sell, to get the money. The most important thing is to bring the money to Cyprus. So forget about it. Let's get the document. I had a, I had a client recently. He told me I will do whatever you say. I said okay, bring me a KYC document. He came in Cyprus. The day he came in Cyprus, he had already a bank account ready. Everything was ready. He chose a property within 24 hours. We finished everything. Mm. Bought the property, yeah. made, bought the property, made the contract, transferred the money, paid the money. Mm. Within 24 hours. Mm. Otherwise, we are just burning fuel. Yeah. And having lunches and dinners and yeah. what, how nice Cyprus is. Yeah. And uh, let's bring some lobster, let's bring this, let's bring that. Waste of time. Yeah. If I come there with to meet this client with Giovanni, mm. it means I'm a, I'm, I'm a member of the package. I want the, you, you are very, very good friends. Yes, she sure. wants said that we can always trust you. Yes, but today. I don't want the investor to think that uh, they are the same group. Mm, mm. They are the same deal. Okay. No, I am independent. I'm an independent professional. And uh, 
since I'm an independent professional, mm. additionally Giovanni, mm. if he sells a property, mm. property yeah. from the five six mm. uh, five six million euros yeah. uh, of the transaction, mm. he would make, for example, one million euro profit. Mm. I'm saying a hypothetical that's a, number. Yeah, that's a very low. Twenty percent. Yeah, it's reasonable for the property. Yeah. But if I make if I make the transaction, mm. he will make one million. I will mm. make fifty thousand euros. Mm. What is the purpose of me flying to Hong Kong mm. now? After I see his files, mm. and if mm. I say to you, mm. yes, we can proceed. No, we cannot mm. proceed. Yes, mm. we have, can proceed in this way. Mm. Then, as a professional, mm. if he wants me to go there, okay. I will go. Okay. As a professional. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. It's an independent profession. Mm. Because I cannot... Mm. Let's be honest here. Yeah. We met... Mm. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Welcome. Thank you. So, uh, let, let's be honest. We yeah. met, but I don't know this guy's name. Mm. I don't know this guy's mm. passport. Mm. I don't know this guy's telephone number. I don't, I don't even have your business card. Thank you. I, I, I do not believe it is wise for me to drop everything and go to Hong Kong to meet you. If you go to <coughs> Hong Kong later, we will, yeah, we will uh, arrange everything for you. Yeah, the it's not about arranging. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's about me not feeling very well of yeah. traveling to meet somebody that I don't know who he is. When I find out who he is, when I check him, when I have something to say to him, because now I don't have anything to say to him, he will say, yes, I have a problem. Since I don't know if there is a solution or not, there is no point of me meeting him. Let's give me his it. If I check him, mm. then I will check his wife. They send me both. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I just need the, 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 the passport yeah. paper yeah. yeah. where his picture is, nothing else. Just make initial checks. Mm. So you think uh, it would be better, safer to apply as his wife? No, as I don't know <coughs> what is better. Okay. Unless I check, yeah. I don't know. Okay, I see. And I tell you it's impossible. Yeah. And I tell you it's doable. I don't know. Yeah. Unless yeah. I review. Yeah. Yeah. How long do you think it take for you to review? It depends how, how, how far. It depends how fast uh, you will bring me the documents I ask. You said just the passport. The passport will be the initial check. Yeah. After the initial check. Yeah. Uh, I will ask for many, many other documents. And I will have a first engagement. Mm. When you give me his passport details, yeah. within 10 minutes I will know. For the bank statements, no matter whether we apply from him or for his wife, if the we apply from his wife, then the source of funds <coughs> yeah. must come from his wife. Yeah. She must satisfy that she has legitimate funds to make the investment. 